AOC. AOC's got some stern words. Stern words for the mayor of New York City. What's going on? What is happening? She wrote this tweet, tweet, tweet on Easy Street. If any kid, you mean college student, is hurt tonight, responsibility will fall on the mayor and university presidents. Other leaders in schools have found safe the escalatory path. This is the opposite of leadership and endangers public safety, a nightmare in the making. I urge the mayor to reverse course. To which what's happening, new NYC mayor says Columbia protests have been co-opted by whom and is going to share the intel. Oh, really? You are? He says at one police plaza, he advises students involved in the protests to leave the area and tells parents to tell their kids to leave before the situation escalates. So you're cracking down on U.S. citizens, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. You're cracking. What? Who? Like, who? who is it? Who is it? Is, is it? Is it? Who co-opted it? Was it the Russians? Was it the communists? Was it China? Was it North Korea? Was it Iran? Was it Hamas? Hamas? Do you condemn Hamas? Who was it? Who? A bird goes tweet and an owl goes who? By the way, again, just want to just share this tweet from Jimmy Dore. 100% it's a retweet. If these scenes were in China, Russia, Iran, or any other Arab country, Western media would be calling the protesters heroes. But it's okay, folks. Guess what? Let me go ahead and pause this here real quick. NYPD Columbia raid criticized by some progressives. That means Ilan Omar and AOC had some choice words. The New York City Police Department NYPD sweeping operation at Columbia University late Tuesday was met with fierce criticism from many progressive lawmakers who pushed officials to de-escalate the situation. Hundreds of police officers stormed a campus building Tuesday as they sought to regain control of a building that had been seized by pro-Palestinian protesters more than 20 hours earlier. And here's AOC's tweet. Which I find, if I was a college student, I'd find this be pretty insulting. If any kid is hurt tonight, who are you calling kid, right? Hmm? Responsibility will fall on the mayor and university presidents, right? Other leaders in schools have found a safe, de-escalatory path. This is the opposite of leadership and endangers public safety. A nightmare in the making. The nightmare in the making meaning is this. And by the way, shout out to Freddie G. AOC has offended me with her violent words again. What it means is, oh, please, please, please. Stop it. You're going to make it so much harder for us to get Biden into office. That's what she's trying to say here. That's well, that's what we're witnessing here. And by the way, Kat Terrell says uh, DePaul and University of Chicago going strong in Chi-Town as they should represent the city. The New York Democrat later uh, uh, reposted a CNN report. Of the NYPD operation, which quoted a reporter saying, I've covered lots of this sort of stuff around the world, and I've never seen this many police moving into one area. Representative Ilan Omar reposted a statement from journalist Glenn Greenwald, who was responding to the same footage. If this were Russia or Iran, a police force of this size deployed against students protesting the state's war policies, it'd be universally denounced as evil tyranny. The problem for the protesters, they uh, chose the one issue they could provoke police of this kind, he added. Yeah. Demonstrators against the war in Gaza has spread across campuses in recent weeks. On Columbia's campuses, uh, protesters escalated the situation by seizing control of Hamilton Hall, smashing windows and unfurling an enfilada banner uh, uh, in, in the process. The move prompted Columbia president uh, to send a letter to senior NYPD officials Tuesday requesting police to remove protesters from the occupied building and a nearby tent encampment with utmost regret. Hey, look, hold on. Senate Majority Leader Chucky Boy Schumer, who's going to tell all those protesters to shut up. By the way, again, protesters, seriously. You have a right to protest free speech, but here's going to be my criticism. 
How consistent are you guys going to be? All right. And if I come off being mean here, audience, please correct me. But please, nobody fall for the trap of, hey, protesters, we know what you're saying is true, but you got to vote for Biden. Don't fall for that trap, okay? I'm an old man now. I've seen this before. I've seen this game happen. I'm 39. Well, not, not, not an old man yet, but old man kid. All right, so there you go. I feel, I, feel, I feel a little bit older now after covering politics. Just don't fall for the trick. Don't fall for the trap but that the Democrats are going to lay out like, we hear you. We sympathize with you. But you got to vote for Biden to help us stop the orange boogie, man. He goes on to say, smashing windows with hammers and taking over university buildings is not free speech, he said Tuesday on a Senate floor. It is lawless, and those who did it should be promptly face the, should, should promptly face the consequences that are not merely a slap on the wrist. You mean like how you and your fantastic frickin' friends do insider trading? By the way, everybody across the political spectrum, no matter what generation you're part of, please check out the Twitter account, Unusual Whales, and you'll find out what your fantastic lawmaker is doing on the side. That's right, they're all doing insider trading. And you want to know what they get when they get caught? Oh, wait, no, it's not that. They don't get a slap on the wrist. They get a little kiss. That's what they get. Nothing happens to them, right, Chucky boy? Right, Chuck? So I want to pull up this uh, video here. Now, I think this is a very good, harsh criticism of AOC. I found this, and I couldn't stop laughing. Oh, I, I, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know we needed this many police officers when J6 happened. We didn't. Okay, where's AOC? I know that she's always so concerned about everyone's safety. Where's that puta at? Where you at, Allie? Are you crying? No. Look at this. Look at that. Look at how many people have to go into a school. Yeah. Why are you covering your face? Are you proud to be? Don't cover your face, honey. Let's see you. I hate Hannity, by the way. But that's okay. Uh, oh, they all have to go into this building and help. Hello, Mama La. That Drew Barrymore wants to call Mama fucking La. Where are you, girl? Where's Mama La at? Because I thought she was supposed to be the mama. Where's Joe at? Where's the President of the United States at? This looks like an insurrection to me. I'm fierce in my life. Fear. Fear <laughs> for my life. Where's Mama La at? Where's, where's, where's Mama Lo? By the way, Dr. Nick and everybody else, to, to my Spanish-speaking audience, how dare you get your minds out of the gutter, Mama Lo? Would I ever say that on the show? And don't anyone say, well, actually, kid, we clipped this right here, and you said that. That's deep. That's called a deep fake. How dare you? How dare you? Alive. Scared. He takes the big jobs. This is what we're in for going. Just want to make sure so you understand the fucking hypocrisy in this fucking country. Do you understand what's fucking going on? These motherfuckers can do whatever you want. You can't pro peacefully protest at your state buildings, but you can go and occupy a school that people pay hundreds and thousands of dollars to go to. That's okay. We see what's going on. Joe, wake the fuck up, Joe. Hey, I love that video. I was laughing at uh, Kai Ko writes, uh, he's so right. They never had this preparedness for January 6th, but yet few peaceful protest, uh, but yet a, a few people protest. They go all out suspicious. Oh, they do indeed. Oh, yes, they do, folks. Now, look, the students, the students, all those students, by the way, everyone's saying, yeah, he's 100 percent right. That's right. Look. Uh, and oh, 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 Freddy, 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 man. I'm surprised the black mayor is using the same tactic of the Jim Crow era. <laughs> Hold on, Freddy. Putting that up there again. That is a work of art right there. By the way, before the protest crackdowns happened, I want to pull up this uh, tweet here. This is of uh, the students getting food and aid.
Mayor Eric Adams, why did you do what you did? No, seriously, why did you do what you did? You had no right to do that to these protesters, to these activists, to these organizers, these people who are trying to at least bring awareness of what's going on here. I want to pull up this video here. There's further crackdown showing us happening. Now you might be wondering, what is the mayor of New York City saying after all of this? Here, let's pull this up here. Here's what the mayor said, claiming a victory. Claiming a victory. When I first started seeing the protests uh, take place in the city, it just did not fit right. Uh, I saw similar indicators from the Black Lives Matters March uh, when it was uh, brought to my attention uh, that there were those who came to the city to disrupt our city. And she was able, through her team, was able to conduct an investigation and what I feared was actually materialized and actualized by those who were on the ground. And I know that there are those who are attempting to say, well, the majority of people may have been students. You don't have to be the majority to influence and co-op an operation. That is what this is about. And so if we want to play the... Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, who did it then? You're making an accusation now. Now you got to have to show the burden of proof. Who was it? Was it an evil bad guy? Was it Putin and his fantastic friends? Was it Xi Jinping from China? Was it a rocket man from North Korea? Don't bomb us, Kim. Come on, take it easy. Was it the Ayatollah of rock and roller? Or was it the Ayatollah of Iran? Well, I don't know. Controversial statement. Could have been hummus. Or could have been maybe, oh, I don't know. Anybody. I mean, because right now you're shooting from the hip here. Infiltrators. Who? Who? Who did it? Road police. Uh, you could do so. I am want to play the New York City police, but we're going to protect our city from those who are attempting to do what is happening globally. There is a movement to radicalize young people, and I'm not going to wait until it's done and all of a sudden acknowledge the existence of it. This is OK, well, guess what, Mayor? If you were afraid of those kids being radicalized, you already did the manual labor. You already did it, baby. But AOC, AOC saying, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Be be nice. You know, no, no kids should be hurt. This is going to be a nightmare. But just remember, even when you confront AOC, while this is only a few months old, maybe a month old, never forget when she was confronted, she all got snapped and angry. Don't forget, Democrats are going to be knocking on your door. Vote Biden, vote blue. You refuse to call it a genocide. No, I, I, I need you to understand. It's not okay that there's a genocide happening. You're not actively against it. You're lying. I'm lying. You're not you went on TV and avoided talking about it. Oh, what? Well, I'm going to tell you that you're lying. Because you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. We're not lying. We're not lying. You've been We're sending in interviews. It's insane. You haven't been calling it a genocide. Don't tell me I'm lying. Then just say it's a genocide. Just say it. Over 30,000 people are dead, are dead, AOC. You can't just say it for once. Just say a word. That's it. That's all we want you to say. And that was all they were asking her to say. Just a while back. Or you're not angry about people who fucking public with the genocide all over 35 people die. Stop. Okay? Stop. Stop. We're not doing anything. We're just talking to an elected participation. That's all we're doing. That's it. Just cut it, and you're going to cut this, and you're going to clip this so that. Mastermind Hour, you are a goddamn genius. <laughs> 
<laughs> AOC's parents were killed by a powerful evil wizard named Jean Ozaid. And now all the people in her village are afraid to say his name. Woogie, boogie, 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 boogie. <laughs> that is completely out of context. I already said that it was. And y'all are just going to pretend that it wasn't over and over again. It's fucked up, man. You're, you're not helping these people. TV. And you're not helping them. You refuse to. You're not helping them. And that was just a month ago. But hey, AOC t- tweeted out to Mayor Eric Adams, don't you say any mean things. Don't you, you don't kids you get hurt. But I got to pull up this tweet from Nick from RBN. Good friend of the show. Shout out to Nick, who's doing some fantastic work. All right. Look, because 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 here's because here's what they're going to be doing, folks. Here, here Here's what's going to be happening. How are these people not embarrassed they voted for Biden, that they use their giant platform to advocate for a well, got to be careful with the years on YouTube, but a guy who is pretty much has a questionable history, right? Because Joe Biden does. Now these Democratic ops like Hassan are going to make posts like this all the way until November, until he votes for Biden and tells his audience to do so again. How do how do anyone take these clowns seriously? Hassan says, good thing we voted for Biden, so this would never happen. Never forget what Vote Blue did to all of us way back in 2020, right? And look, oh, yeah, right, Hassan? Telling us that we got to vote blue no matter who. You know, just 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 for my soul, just so that we all can at least have some peace. Let us once again laugh. Let us once again laugh at the real truth. AOC and the Democrats only want you to vote for Joe Biden because, oh, they got to stop Trump. Mayor Eric Adams, if you were so concerned about these protesters being radicalized, you did it for them. AOC, what's your excuse now? Mayor Eric Adams is a Democrat. Chucky Boy Schumer is condemning all those protesters. You need the young vote. But, oh, no, Democrats are cracking down on the young voters. It's almost like, geez, just like how Trump cracked down on protesters or any other Democrat or Republican politicians cracked down on protesters going after whistleblowers or anything of that nature. It seems very clear that both parties are the same. And yet AOC is going to try and convince these young people to vote Democrat. Young people, don't fall for the trap. Don't let it happen to you. So let's go ahead and end this on a positive note because I think this person says it all for us. Live, laugh, and love. Oh, I, I, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know we needed this many police officers when J6 happened. We didn't. Okay, where's AOC? I know that she's always so concerned about everyone's safety. Where's that puta at? Where are you at, Allie? Are you crying? No. Look at this. Look at that. Look at how many people have to go into a school. Yeah. Why are you covering your face? Are you proud to be? Don't cover your face, honey. Let's see you. I hate Hannity, by the way, but that's okay. Uh, oh, they all have to go into this building and help. Hello, Mama La. That Drew Barrymore wants to call Mama fucking La. Where are you, girl? Where's Mama La at? Because I thought she was supposed to be the mama. Where's Joe at? Where's the president of the United States at? This looks like an insurrection to me. I'm fear for my life. Fear. Fear for my life. Scared. This is what we're in for. I just want to make sure so you understand the fucking hypocrisy in this fucking country. Do you understand what's fucking going on? These motherfuckers can do whatever you want. You can't pro- peacefully protest at your state buildings, but you can go and occupy a school that people pay hundreds and thousands of dollars to go to. That's okay. We see what's going on. Joe, wake the fuck up, Joe! Also, I want to pull this tweet up. Shout out to Compton J of RBN. Joe Biden and the Democratic Party are losing young people for a lifetime. You can't demonize, arrest, arrest, repress, and call young people anti-Semitic in the, in the name of genocide. Then expect them to support you or the Democratic Party. Good luck, Democrats. You're, you, you guys are going to need it. Seriously, good luck. And to anyone, to anyone that's part of those protesters, don't let them trick you. Don't let them trap you. Don't let them get you no matter what. Don't let it happen to you, okay? You got to keep your heads on that swivel. Don't vote Democrat. Don't vote Republican. Break away from it and keep on fighting the good fight. 
free speech, and that goes for everyone across the political spectrum. Everyone has a right to assemble and protest. And don't let these jag off politicians try and hijack your movement or take control. Because AOC, I, I could see her doing these massive tweets like, oh, this was so bad. This was so bad. Oh, why would they do this? Well, then, gee, AOC, are you going to confront Chucky Boy or Mama Bear Nancy? Are you going to confront Joe Biden? What about you, Bernie? Are you going to do that? Let's have democracy in the chat. I'm going to give you, actually, the people the final word. Folks, let's say all the Congressional Progressive Caucus, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, or anybody else that's a progressive Democrat, you think they're going to collectively come together and confront their own party members and actually make a change? Type one for, yes, Kit, I believe in the audacity of hope. Now, you're an awful man because you're denying their courage, but they will, and Joe Biden's going to listen. Type two, man, they ain't going to do jack. Come on, man. That's a silly question, you silly goose. What's wrong with you? Type, type, type in the comment section below. And I cannot wait to see the DNC convention here in Chicago. Stay tuned.